Hello, my name's Mandy and today I just want to share some information about my experience of sewing with Maraflex thread by Gutterman. So Maraflex thread is for sewing flexible seams, so it's for your knits. So instead of sewing traditionally on a sewing machine with your zigzag stitch, you can use a straight stitch using the Maraflex because it's got this elasticity in it. Now, when I pull on it, it's not like shearing elastic where it will give you a big stretch, but you certainly can feel some tension there. So it does claim to give you 80% stretch on your uh, flexibility on your seams because it adapts to the stretch of the fabric. So, I'm not going to go into text numbers because the text number is, in, as you know, uh, is the unit of weight of your cotton. But I will put in a link to a website that gives you the different text numbers. Mara is this micro core technology for the spinning of the polyester that Gutterman use. So the range of colours. Now, some sites are saying that there's 48, some say there's 80, but there is a good variety in the colour range. I mean, I mean that wasn't, that isn't a bad match, this one here that I've used. Uh, the grey, I bought a grey one and I bought this green. So, yeah, I've managed to match up. Um, to my different garments I've made which I'll show you in a moment um, so yeah the colour range is quite good. What sort of fabrics can you use it on? Well you can use it on um, light to medium weight knits, swimwear, underwear and also wovens that contain elastane. So needles they usually recommend you use a jersey stretch needle. I used a Schmetz stretch needle and the size was a size 80. So I forgot to say that you need to use your Maraflex in your upper thread and also your bobbin because of the composition of the thread. And also, if you're using an overlocker, then um, the Maraflex in the needle and also you, you'd use the Maraflex in the looper. So first of all, I sewed some samples because it did recommend that you lower your upper thread tension, which I did, but the stitches popped out. So I, mine's on an automatic setting. It's an Elner sewing machine. So I popped it back to the automatic and it was fine. So, yeah, I don't alter my thread tension. I haven't done. Um, now, I did read another website and they said the same and I'll pop a link in to that particular website, but they had put some pictorial images up to show you the stitches and what they look like with the different thread tensions. And they also didn't alter their thread tension. They kept it on their normal, their usual tension and found the stitches were far better. So yeah, they also recommend that you use a stitch setting of three, which should give you a four stitches to one centimetre. Okay, so that's the recommended stitch length because that will provide you with the optimum stretch. So here's an example of the recommended stitch length, four stitches to one centimetre. I've sewn this on a very stretchy fabric. It's actually a red velvet. And as you can see on both sides, the stitch definition is good. So here is the stitching on a stretchy fleece. The stitching, as you can see, is neat. And I have give it a good pull to see if the stitches will pop at all. I've pulled the fabric in both directions with quite some force. 
and there's no popping of stitches. This means that this is very useful for um, exercise wear because you'll be doing a lot of stretching and bending and it gives such a lovely finish. This is another fabric I've used it on and yeah, really neat. I've been sewing lots of tops with my scraps of jerseys which will be another vlog but I find that it's very useful for sewing on your neckbands and your cuffs. I mean I haven't cuffed this one but say here because you know it's got the flexible to stretch. So yeah. The thing I would say when it comes to top stitching I have top stitch with this because I was being a little bit lazy. It's just a little top for my grandson play out in. But I think if I was going to top stitch, you know, at the bottom, you, you usually top stitch. I would perhaps use my ordinary thread. I don't want to be, and that's because I don't want to be um, using two spools and my Maraflex and, and a bobbin as well, just for do a top stitch. Um, if I wanted a double top stitch, I would use my ordinary thread. So that's the only thing I would say. So yeah, I've top stitched as well with my Maraflex on this and I just absolutely love it. It's been a delight to sew with it, just really You're has. also getting optimum thread usage because I don't know about you, but I don't like to sew knits on overlockers. I really don't. I just don't like the seam. I like my seams to be pressed open. But with the overlocker, you use a lot of thread, I think. And I think with the Maraflex on the sewing machine, you're just doing a straight stitch. It's optimum thread usage. So washing. You can wash your once you've sewn your garment. Um, dependent on your garment, obviously. Uh, washing care. But you can wash your Maraflex on a 60 degree. You can also um, tumble dry it, iron it and have it dry cleaned as well. But there is a couple of solvents and it will, does give you that information on the Gutterman website that you cannot use for the dry cleaning. OK, you can use it. Um, chlorine shouldn't affect it because obviously you can use it with swimwear. And it also says oxygen bleach, which I think must mean the OxyClean think but yeah it's um i don't know what more i can tell you really it's just been really good for sewing with it's my helen's closet blackwood cardigan and i've wore this on many of occasion now and yeah i love it i find you know it comfortable there's been no stitch popping and i just love how and I'll, you know, I just love how the, it's just like a normal seam. Usually with a zigzag, you can, if you pull it really hard, you can see the sort of stitches. But yeah. So this is a real game changer for me, the Maraflex thread. Um, yeah, I'd never go back to using a zigzag st stitch again. I just absolutely love it. So I hope you found this review useful. And until next time, bye.